to do the diamond painting pen challenge that was issued by Jeremy over at Jeremy JTMJ Crafts and Christy with Crafting with Christy, I believe. Um, thanks you guys for the opportunity. And um, actually at first I wasn't going to do this video just because I didn't know if I would make the deadline for it. The deadline's actually on my birthday, <laughs> but um, we won't talk about about that because I'm turning, uh, yeah. So, um, but I think I am gonna go for it. So I do have quite a few pens. Honestly, I will probably mix up where I got them from. I've only purchased pens from a handful of pen makers. So um, I probably won't get the vendor confused. And I've written down notes. If I know the names of the blanks, I'll tell you, um, but yeah. So let's get started and move this out of the way first. If you haven't noticed, I do, this is how I store my pens. It's on a roll keeper. I will link her Etsy shop in my description box, but I love this. It even has a little way to hang it. I hang them both in my craft closet upstairs and I can just open the door and see all my pens and pick which ones I want to use. So, um, there's that. Okay, so first pen is a hybrid, and a hybrid means that it's made out of mixed materials. This one is resin and wood, and this comes from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop over on Etsy, and I will link all the vendors in the description box. Um, second one, I want to say is from Lazen Laves Hand Turned Pens. And I love Daniel's work over at Lazen Lave. I think he's great. This one, I want to say, is Diamond Art Club. But I'm not positive. What do you guys think? I think it's Diamond Art Club. This next one is from Daniel at Lazen Laves. It's a um, blank from Mackenzie Penworks. She's the one who does, or I don't even know if it's a she, she or he. They're the ones who does the diamond cast blanks. So I know you can see it, but there's like a lot of subtle sparkle to it. And I think they use actual diamond powder, which is why they call it diamond cast. I don't remember the name of this blank. So sorry. This pen here is what started my whole acrylic paint pen addiction um you know when i first started diamond painting i was totally fine using the little pen in the kit and i was one of those people who was all like why would i spend all that money on a pen just a diamond paint that's crazy and um it was maybe i was maybe a few months into this hobby and it was clear i was gonna be doing it for a while and then I ordered a bunch of sparklers from Tima over at DP Sparklers. DP, is it DP Sparklers? Well, I'll link her below, but she sells all ABs and sparklers for your diamond painting needs. And she sent me an acrylic pen as a gift. And I used this and seriously, the seal was broken and I never looked back. So there's that. This next one is from Bella's DP Pens over on Etsy. And I bought from her when she was first starting out. And from what I understand, it's a lot harder to buy pens from her now. So um, give her a look, but I really like this one. I believe it's called Golden Glimmer. So here's that. This one is also from Bella. And this one, the blank is called Seasons Change. This next one, also from Bella. And huh, let me see. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what this one is called. Sorry, but there you go. This one, also a Bella pen, I believe. And this one is called Abalone Pearl. Or no, you know what? Hold on. No, no, no. This is from Lays and Lave. And this is Opal Blush. 
That's the blank, okay? Next one, also from Lays and Lays, and this is Grapevines. Okay. This one here is Lays and Lays, and it is called Electric Disco. There we go. Sorry, I'm putting them, pulling them out and putting them back in my holder as I do this. Lays and Lays, and this is called Pink Cloud. This is also Lays and Lave, and this is a unicorn holographic. This is a blank that he creates himself, which is part of the reason why I really like Daniel at Lays and Lave because he um, mixes a lot of blanks himself. This is also from Lays and Lave, and this is Pomegranate Martini. It's this one, Lays and Lave. And this is American Pie. This is Lays and Lave as well. And it's a Mackenzie Penworks diamond cast. I want to say it's Derby Girl, but I'm not positive. So there's that. So here's another hybrid from Jim's Handmade Pens. I love the hybrids. I love how it looks, but I'm going to tell you now, it makes it a little more fragile. If you drop your pen, if you drop any of your pens, it does have a chance of breaking. But because of the hybrid, you have more weak spots, I guess. And it's much more likely to break, even from like a small drop. And I learned that the hard way. So... If you buy a hybrid pen, just be careful and be mindful of that. But they are very pretty. Here's another hybrid from Jim. And Jim, as far as I know, doesn't make his own blanks. He lists blanks on his Etsy shop and they're usually from different um, people who make blanks. And he only offers three or two shapes for the pens. It's a three bump and a four bump. There you go. This one is from Bella's DP Pens, and this one is called, and now I wrote that down. It's called Curious Chameleon. Oh, oh, dropped that, but it didn't break. <laughs> that was good. Okay, put that back. I'm struggling with this. Hope everyone's having a good day so far and I'm not boring you too much. This one is also from Bella's DP Pens and this is a diamond cast from Mackenzie Penworks called Satellite. There's that. Okay. And here's another one from Bella's and this one's called Jellyfish. Okay. Okay, going up. This one's from Lays and Lave. Let me see if I wrote down the name of that one. Well, I don't think I have the name. This might be, no. You know what, this, could, this might be a pen drop on his Etsy shop. Every now and then, Daniel will drop a whole bunch of pens on Etsy and it is like, you gotta have quick fingers to get them. This is also from Daniel at Lays and Leaf. Okay. This one is from Jim over at Jim's Handmade Pens. It's just a pink holographic glittery blank or pink purple sorry this one is also gems this one is from Daniel at Lays and Lave and it is used with the ever popular oil slick diamond cast from Mackenzie
This one is one of Daniel's from Lays and Laves exclusive blanks. It's called Ocean Vista. This one is also from Daniel, another one of his exclusive um, blanks. And this one is called, I know I wrote it down. Maybe I didn't. Huh. All right, I guess I didn't, sorry. But this is also an exclusive blank from Daniel. Also Lays and Lave, this is called, this is called Sargasso Sea. There you go, and it's from Exotic Blanks. But Daniel at Lays and Lave turned it. This one here, also Daniel, is called Pele. This one is a Diamond Art Club. I think it was your first generation of diamond painting pens. This one is from Jim over at um, Jim's Handmade Pens. And let me see, I want to guess on the name of the blank. Sorry, I'm trying to look at my notes and see what looks familiar, but I don't see any. Okay, so this is from Jim. This is also from Jim. And her gym pen. This is from Daniel. It's a blank from Mackenzie Penworks. And yeah, I'm not gonna guess on the name. Sorry. No, 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 it's not Mackenzie. Sorry. It is a blank from someone. Exotic blanks, and it's called Cool Pink. Sorry about that, but Daniel at Lays and Laves turned it. Here's this one. Also from Daniel in its Opal Blush. And then her Daniel pen. This is a Minner Diamond Works cast, and it's called 30 Below. Here's this one. I believe this one is, huh. I know it's a diamond cast. You'll have to check and see which one it is, but it's from Lays and Lave. Here's another one from Lays and Lave. This one's from Jim. This one's from Jim too. And this blank is called Unicorn Puke. Here's one from Lays and Lave. And I'm not positive of the blank name, I'm sorry, but it is a diamond cast. Okay, last one off this holder. Also Lays and Lave, diamond cast, and I believe this one's called Metal Allergy. So there you go. All right, let's move these out of the way. this up here all right this one's from Daniel it's one of my favorite ones and it was a one of, one of a kind sort of blank it glows in the dark so I think he call it solar pink or it doesn't glow in the dark I'm sorry when you take it out in the sun it changes color it's like a deeper pink almost purple 
It's really cool. Really happy I have this one in my collection. Also Lays and Lave, also a diamond cast. And, oh, you know what? This one is called Derby Girl. So sorry. So I don't know what that last one was called. There's that. Here's this one from Lays and Lave. It's a diamond cast blank, and I believe this one is Orion. Here's another one, Lays and Lave. I think this was a pen drop off of Etsy, so I'm not sure of the blank name. And here's Lays and Leave again. I believe it was a pen drop, but this looks like his unicorn holographic. So here we go. And also from one of his pen drops on Etsy, I got a second oil slick just because I like it so much. That's from Lays and Leave. This one's from Jim. And this is called Diamond Rainbow. Yes. This one is a Diamond Art Club. This one is from Jim and it is called, let's see here, Electric Kool-Aid. I believe is the name of it. Also Jim, and this one is called Blurple because it's like a deep, deep purple. Here's another one from Jim. This might be Woodstock. And there you go. One more. Um, can't be Jim because Jim's style is a little fatter than this pen. So I want to guess it's Daniel over at Lace and Lave. There you go. Here's another pen from Jim. Not sure in the name of this one. Here's a pen from Jim. Minor pen from Jim. This is a Diamond Art Club. Um, then our Diamond Art Club. This is also from Jim. Also Jim, and it's called Platinum Strawberry Ble Breeze. Excuse me. So there you go. I thought this one was kind of cool and different. Here's a Diamond Art Club. One more Diamond Art Club. Wow, this one really glitters. That's kind of cool. Here's one from Jim, and it's some of his newest exclusive blanks. This one is called Proper Patina. I really like it. Sorry. It looks short because I don't have tips on it yet, but I will get around to using it. Here's another exclusive blank from Lays and Leave. This one is called Bubble Mint. Here's one from Daniel at Lays and Leave. I think it was from a pen drop. This 
This one from Diamond Art Club. One more from Lays and Lave. No, you know what? This isn't Lays and Lave. I think this is from J&J Custom Diamond Painting Pens. So there you go. They have a lot of really cool and inter interesting blanks. These are cool. This is also from Daniel in his exclusive pours. This one is called Lilac, no, Golden Lilac. This is from Lays and Lave. This one, I love this one. It's one of my favorites. This is from J&J &J Custom Diamond Painting Pens. Here's another one from J&J &J Custom Diamond Painting Pens. This is from Jim's Handmade Pens. It's a silver holographic. And we're almost there, guys. Here's one from Jim. It is a rose gold holographic. And last but not least is my hybrid from J&J &J Custom Diamond Painting Pens. So that's it. That's all of my acrylic diamond painting pens. Um, if you stuck around to the end, thank you so much. And if you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't done so already. But that's all I got for you guys today. So thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.